What's going on YouTube? So today I'm out here on Main Street in Oshkosh. There's a lot of people out there already. I'm sure they're catching cool as a white bass. We'll see where that goes because today is pretty freezing cold. It's pretty cold out. So that being said, I'm gonna get strapped on. I'm gonna get my stuff. I got some live minnows, got some gulps, maybe some flies. Like I said, today is more of a technique day where I'm gonna try to break it down, what I'm doing, and you know, just stuff like that. So that being said, let's get going. It's around eight o'clock. Let's get some fishing on you guys. Water temperature is pretty cool. That guy got a big fish on. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with some live minnows just because I wanna see here just some good action going on here. So what I'm doing today is uh throwing these three-way swivel. Maybe with three four pounds. Three four pounds um sinker here. And I'm pretty much bouncing it at the bottom. I'm trying to see if I can cover some fish here. There he goes. It's a white bass, alright. So with this sinker, it's pretty much like my depth finder. I can count the seconds to the rate it falls and um, I can feel the bottom. You know, it's either soft or hard. I can also feel the current, which way it's pushing the sinker. Um, especially fishing in big rivers like this, it's so helpful. Like right now, like right now, it's it feels like a soft bottom, you know. And I don't know if it's the right place to be at, but it could hold bait fish, I don't know. Oh, I got fish. I actually had a fish on, nice. There you go. Oh, maybe I found them, we'll see. Bam! In a bucket you go, right buddy? Cause uh, we gotta start keeping you guys for the family. Then he inhaled it too. What did I just pick up? I picked up that it was a softer bottom, right? Maybe, maybe that's what they're hanging out at. As soon as I hit that soft bottom contact there, boom, he was on it. It probably, held some, it probably holds some bait fish there, you know? So, let's keep giving it a try and see what happens. I'm gonna try to use up these minnows before they die, man. They're like crunched up in this thing. It might be stupid of me, but I'm gonna try to reach down and get some water for this fish. I have too much sympathy for these fish, man. <laughs> I don't want them to die suffering, you know. Oh man, that's a that's a high drop. Hopefully I don't fall in. If I fall in, dude, I'm screwed. Oh my gosh. This is scary. Oh hell no. This is way too high. Uh, it's way too high, forget it. Got one. There you go, soft bottom, you guys. Okay, so that was the, pretty much the next cast. All right, I'm gonna have to go. Get, I'm gonna have to get some water now. The only way to do that is to tie this on. Like that. Get some water. Get some water for my fishing. <laughs> Oh, that's too much. Oh, that's way too much water. Oh, sh that's way too much water. Crap. <laughs> my chain might break. Oh, there goes my bucket. <laughs> my bucket broke. It fell in. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, great, David. Good job, dude. Dig bassin at his finest. <laughs> oh, shoot. Broke my bucket in the water. That is just great, man. Anyway, you guys, that's Leezy over there. All right? It's my cousin Leezy, man. We're out right here trying to catch these white bass because we're desperate. We're desperate for some hook set. Leezy's on. They are over here. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're at the soft bottom. Nice. <laughs> you, dog, take these fish, bro. Take these fish. 
It's only two, man. I'll start keeping them when I catch a school. I don't want to keep any fish yet because if I do, I'm going to have to go buy ice and then throw it in my cooler. It's the last thing I want to do is buy ice, man. Alright guys, so I'm back out here. I had to put my uh, battery, external battery on. I'm going to finish it off here at Main Street. This is the only place that I know that's been producing pretty well. So uh, yeah, let's just see where this goes. Let's just see how this goes. Ooh, there's a lot of minnows in here. Man, there's plenty of them. A lot of bait fish. Again, I'm gonna use live minnows. I'm just gonna use these guys all up. At least my back is facing away from the wind. It's not too bad. So it's raining pretty bad out. And um, I'm gonna try to see if I can catch one in this rain, okay? I don't want my GoPro to get soaked. It's raining real bad. I just caught three back to back. If I catch one, I'll show you guys. How hot this bite's getting. This rain is just making them activate like crazy right now. Everybody's just pulling them in non stop. I can suit up my waterproof case, but we'll see. Let's we'll see what's up. See if I catch any more. If I start catching them, then I'll put on a waterproof case. Got one. There you go. Dude, they are just on. They are. Oh, it's a sheep head. Dang it. <laughs> Damn sheep head. I find you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put you guys on the waterproof case. So you guys won't be able to hear me as well, but I will be able to record some damage. So let's do this.
All right, you guys, so today was a really good day, all right? Um, it was challenging, it was nasty out, but I eventually found a pattern and found the fish. Figured out that they were on the soft bottoms. I had to fish a lot slower and lighter line. I went to six pound test and had a good time. So I wanna get back to fishing. I'm actually gonna stop here, okay, you guys, because it's white bass fishing is repetitive and if I was to edit all these clips of me catching these white bass it would it would be at least 30 minutes so with that being said I thank you guys for watching again don't forget to like comment subscribe to my youtube channel which is Dean Bassin and don't forget to follow me on instagram which is Dean Bassin please you guys if you guys want to see more videos of me doing white bass fishing this might be my last time doing white bass fishing actually so if you guys do like this stuff let me know man let me know and I'll put all the clips of me catching these white bass and you know, I'll just let it be. You know, just let it be. Show you guys some white bass action here in Wisconsin. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to go ahead, get back to fishing. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.